Hello, this is Dr. Loach from humanbodyhelp.com and today we're going to run through the muscles of this little guy right here, the small muscle man model. Here we're viewing the upper extremity from the lateral view. Okay, here we can see the deltoid muscle here. Back here we would have the lateral head of the triceps. Here we've got the brachialis muscle, which would be underneath the biceps brachii muscle, which would be right here. These forearm muscles, we have the brachioradialis right here. Then we have extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis right next to it. Over here we have the extensor digitorum muscles and if we were to turn the model a little bit we would be able to see extensor carpi ulnaris over here right next to the ulna bone. This right here would be the anconius muscle and here we'd be able to see the long head of the triceps as well as the medial head of the triceps right here. If we were to look at the anterior part of the arm, we could see deltoid here and biceps brachii right here. You might be able to see a little piece, if I turn this a little bit, you could see a little piece here of brachialis, which is going to be underneath biceps. And if I turn this back, these forearm muscles that we can see, this is brachioradialis right here. This is pronator teres. This muscle right here, if we trace it down, we can see that it goes on the radial side of the forearm. So this is flexor carpi radialis. This right here would be palmaris longus. You can see where the muscle's been cut away from the palmar aponeurosis right here. Okay. And then we would also be able to see a tendon right here. This tendon is the tendon of flexor carpi ulnaris. The Flexor digitorum superficialis would be these fibers under these muscles here. Now we're looking at muscles of the anterior part of the lower extremity. Here we've got the sartorius muscle here. This is the vastus medialis muscle, this teardrop shaped muscle right here. Vastus lateralis would be over here on the other side of this muscle which is rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is the only quadricep muscle that crosses two joints. It originates up here at the anterior inferior iliac spine and attaches down to the tibial tuberosity. So it will cross the hip joint and the knee joint to affect both joints. It will flex the thigh at the hip and extend the leg at the knee. Vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and then vastus intermedius underneath here all of those muscles would simply extend the leg at the knee. This muscle right here is the tensor fasciolata. If we go down to the lower leg, we can see tibialis anterior right here, anterior to the tibia. This muscle right here would be extensor digitorum longus. And over on the side here, over on the side, we've got fibularis longus and then fibularis brevis here and back here. And fibularis tertius is unable to be seen here. Uh, we could uh, trace this tendon back up to this uh, coloring here. Uh, that's where fibularis tertius would live if it were there. So here we've got gluteus maximus. Here we've got the hamstring muscles. The lateral most hamstring muscle would be the biceps femoris. And then this medial hamstring muscle, this one would be the semitendinosus, which is on top of semimembranosus, which we can see peeking out here. Okay, we can also see semimembranosus over here really well, some of the fibers on either side of this semitendinosus on top. Here we've got the gastrocnemius muscle and the soleus muscle. Both of these muscles, or all three of these bellies, would constitute the triceps suri muscle. And the triceps suri, gastrocnemius and soleus, would attach to the calcaneal tendon right here, 
which would attach to the calcaneus. This calcaneal tendon is also known as Achilles tendon. If I were to rotate the model like this, we could see what's going on in the medial thigh. This muscle right here is the gracilis muscle. This is part of the sartorius muscle. We've got adductor magnus right here. Adductor magnus has two heads, and we'd be able to see adductor longus in here. Adductor brevis, which we can't see very well, adductor brevis would be underneath adductor longus. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.